Migrants in 1930s California. During the 1930s, most of the United States was in a serious economic depression. Almost 25% of people lost their jobs and many people lost their homes and struggled to buy food. As a result, some people from Oklahoma, as well as Texas and Arkansas, began traveling west to California in search of farm work. Most of the people traveling to California came from an area of the Midwest nicknamed the Dust Bowl. This area got the nickname because the combination of a long last drought and overworked land meant that much of the land could no longer be used for farming. In particular, people from the Dust Bowl were anxious to move to California where farming was thriving. They were hopeful that in California, they could find farm work and support their families. Many people who moved out west were not actually farmers. They had just heard stories about crops that need harvesting in California. They were usually white and moved as a family. These migrants were usually disappointed when they arrived to find a shortage of work and they were forced to accept very low wages. When people fleeing the Dust Bowl started pouring to California looking for work, they drove down wages. There were so many workers looking for work that companies could pay much less. There was there will always be some hungry enough for work to take a job. White government officials claimed that many unemployed people in California were Mexican and Mexican American farm workers, but this wasn't true. The largest number of unemployed people were white migrants from other states desperate for work during the depression. Mexican workers banded together, often with other people of color, to protest low wages and conditions that were getting worse and worse. The government responded with reparation plans. This meant that they forcibly sent people back to Mexico who protested and demanded better treatment. Even if they were U.S. citizens born in the United States, Mexican-American who protested or went on strike strike could be sent back to Mexico. It estimated that around 100,000 Mexican and Mexican Americans were sent back to Mexico during this time.